Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to do something very cool, and that is how to read Excel sheets using Python. Now, the best thing about this is that we're going to be learning how to read specific columns and rows. I'll also be showing you how to edit them, so read and edit, how to save them, how to duplicate the entire file, and also how to either read one sheet or even two sheets at the same time. So we're going to be learning all about that straight away. Now without further ado, let's actually get started. Now, what I have here is this Excel sheet and it's simply just saved in my home directory. At the same home direct directory, I also have our file here. It's called ChatGPT just because I was using it for a different tutorial, uh, but they're both basically in the same home directory. And all we're gonna do is we're going to be using that Python file to do some edits and read that Excel file. And the first thing we need to do is we need to import a particular library called OpenPyXL. Now, if you don't have access to it or for whatever reason, it's showing you that it can't find it. All you need to do is come here and type pip3 or pip, depending on how you set it up, install OpenPyXL and click enter and it will start installing it for you. Otherwise, if you have it just like I do, you can start using it straight away. After doing that, what we need to then do is get another module. So we're going to say from open pi Excel import workbook. And we also need to say load workbook, just like this. Now we're going to click enter. And the first thing we need to do, and let me see if I can just increase it. So I think that's a better size for you. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be saving the Excel sheet to a variable that makes sense. Now, this can be anything that you want it to be. For me, I'm just going to call it the Excel, or we can say the X file. And we're going to say load workbook. And inside of here, we're going to be placing the name of that file that we want to open, the file as a whole. Now, as you can see from here, we've called it the file.xlsx. So that's exactly what I'll do here. I'll simply type the file dot xlsx let's just confirm xlsx the file and here we go now now that we have that done what we can then do is straight away select what kind of sheet we want so the first example that i'll show you is how to just get the most active sheet and to do that all you need to do and from now we're going to use this to refer to the entire workbook is simply say the x file dot active and this will get us the current active sheet now, what we can then do after is we can simply print any values inside. So I can say something like print sheet. And inside of here, I'll simply point out which, what column and row I want. And to do that, we use, and if I just zoom in a little bit, we simply use the code and C. So let's say we want to get the title. We can say A1, and that's exactly what I'll do. I will say A1. And there's one more thing for us to do and that is dot value now let's go ahead and save this and run this file and you can see that it printed first title for us and our first one is first title for us now let's say we wanted to get the fourth item all we need to do is again a four and click on save now if we run this you can see that it says a four and that is exactly the element written here. If I change this to, let's say, David Bolas, which is my name, and I save the, yep, and run this, now we'll say David Bolas. So that is basically how to read from that file. Now, let's have a look at how we can edit different elements in it. It's actually very easy and it's also very useful. So what I'll do now is, it's actually exactly the same way as you read it. So we can go ahead and do this and do this and we can simply say this was edited and we need one more thing to do this so to save the actual file after we edited it so all we will need to do is simply say book or the x file so the name of the file dot save whoops And inside of here, we get really cool options straight away. Now, the first option is that we can just save it the way it's been saved. So we can simply copy this 
and paste it over here and if I do this if I run this for you and we go over here and maybe let's just close this if I open this now you will see that it has been in fact edited and now it says the edit that we wanted which is this was edited so that now works now let me show you how we can do something else now let's say you want to keep the original document the same but you want to duplicate this and create basically a different document which you can use all you need to do for this is the following you can simply come over here and we can say the file to and save this and if we go ahead and run this this you can see that it's still exactly the same but we now have another file that was created and that file if I open it you can see that it has all the original data except now we also have the change that we wanted so you can see that we have this one exactly the same and this one is changed let's go ahead and cancel or delete this file and I'm going to continue now working with the original one and for the final thing in our tutorial is how do we read and obviously just as soon as I show you this you will be able to save to the other thing but how do we read a specific sheet in the file that we have and to do this is actually very simple instead of saying dot active what you can do is you can simply say you can go ahead and do this like that and inside of here you're going to be entering the name of that sheet that you want so we've got sheet one and this is sheet two so let's quickly just enter anything in the first column so we're going to come over here and we're going to say sheet two and i don't want to edit this anymore i simply want to print it so let's go ahead and put this in a print statement and we want it to be a1 that's the one what we want to read so let's go ahead and see if it reads it. Remember, this is sheet 2, this is sheet 1. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it will print out. So you can see that it printed the stuff that I had in the second sheet and in the A1 column. Now, there is another useful trick that I would like to show you, and that is how to just print the list of sheets that you have so that you can know and deal with it. And the best way to do this is simply just come over here and you can copy the X file. You can come over here. And simply type in sheet names and if I go ahead and save this and run this you can see that it prints us a list of the sheets that are inside our Excel file so that is sheet 1 and sheet 2 just how it is presented over here thanks so much for watching this episode I hope you did benefit we learned a lot in it and please make sure you do leave a like and a comment on how I can improve these kinds of tutorials I'm hoping to do more tutorials on Python and Excel and file editing in general, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you in the next episode.